Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to delete or remove data from MySQL database table by using Ajax in Laravel framework. And reload remaining data to inch query data tables plugin without refresh of web page. We have already discussed how to load data in query data tables plugin in Laravel by using Yadra, then after we have seen how to insert data and how to update data by using Ajax in Laravel. Now this is last part of Laravel Ajax CRUD application and in this part we will see into how to remove or delete data from MySQL table in Laravel by using Ajax. So for this first we have to go to Ajax data controller file and in this we have to go to get data method, because this method has load data in Yadra data tables. Here we have to define delete data button for each records of student. So here in return statement we have add code like anchor tag with class is equal to delete and it is equal to dollar student with it object. Here we will use class delete inch query code for delete data operation and from it attribute we will get particular student id. Now in browser we can see student data in data tables with add button on above table and edit button in each records row. So now we have refresh page. After refresh of web page, here we can see delete button also come with edit button. By clicking on this button we can remove particular student data. So for this we have to go to ajaxdata.blade.php view file and here we have to write query code for delete data. So now here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this method we have write click event with delete class. When we have click on any particular student data row delete button then this code will execute and it will remove particular student data. Under this first we have write id variable is equal to dollar this selector with attribute method and under this we have write id. This code will fetch id attribute value and store into id variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write confirm with message like are you sure you want to delete this data. When we have click on delete button then this message will pop up on web page with ok and cancel button. So when we have click on cancel button then it will execute else block of code and at that time no action will be performed. But when we have click on OK button then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write Ajax request and in this we have write first option URL set to double curly bracket and between them we have write root method with Ajax data dot remove data method. Here we have send request to Ajax data controller remove data method, we will set this URL root later in this video. In second option we have method and under this option we have use get method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send it variable value send to server. In last option we have write success callback function and this function will be called if request completed successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function first we have write alert statement with data variable. This code will load pop message box on web page. And lastly we want to reload data in data tables, so we have write dollar with table it student table with data table method with ajax dot reload method. This code will fetch remaining data from table and load into data tables without refresh of web page. 
Now we have go to Ajax data controller file and here we have create remove data method with request argument. We have send Ajax request to this method and under this method we will receive did data from Ajax request by using this dollar request object. Under this method we have write dollar student variable is equal to student modal class with find method. And under this method we have write dollar request with input method and under this we have write it. By using this input method with dollar request variable, it has received particular student id and based on that id value. It will search particular student data available or not in database by using find method and that data has been stored in dollar student variable. Below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar student variable with delete method. Here delete method will remove particular student data from my SQL database and it will return true that means it will execute if block of code. After successfully delete of data, it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with data deleted, this message will pop up after delete of data on web page. Now we want to set root for this method, so we have go to web.php roots file. And here we have write root class with get method with two argument, in first argument we have write ajax data slash remove data method. And in second argument we have write ajax data controller at the rate remove data method. After this we have write name method and under this we have write ajax data dot remove data method which we have write under ajax request. Here we have set root of remove data method of ajax data controller, so ajax request will send request to this remove data method of ajax data controller. So here our code is ready so we have save this and check output in browser. Friends first we have refreshed the browser and now we can see student data in data table with edit and delete button. So now we have click on particular student data row delete button, after clicking on button we have received pop message with ok and cancel button. So we have click on cancel button, after clicking on cancel button no data has been delete, so we have again click on delete button. Now we have click on OK button, after clicking on OK button particular student data has been removed from database and remaining data has been display under data tables without refresh of page. This way we can delete or remove single data from MySQL table by using Ajax in Laravel with Yajra data tables package. So here we have make simple Ajax grod single page application in Laravel with jQuery data tables plugin, in which we can insert new data, update or delete existing data and display remaining data on web page and without refresh of web page. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, Please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.